quick, not great quality video that I did trying to come up with a way to show people OneEdit Pro, this app that I use daily and absolutely love. Anyone that has a website or blog knows that creating the images for it is a really time-consuming task. I'm only using two photos here just as an example. Just to be able to show you how to quickly batch crop app store screenshots. So I have two apps oops, that I want to take quick screenshots of and put nice borders on for a blog post I'm writing. So I hit select and these are the two apps. Copy them. Go into OneEdit Pro, hit the plus sign, open the clipboard, select all, and done. It pulls them in. Then I have a profile that I've saved because figuring out the correct dimensions for cropping um, anything really can be tricky. And so I copied this in from another iPad. So actually, I guess I have a couple. Crop app screenshots and border and Apple screenshots late. Well, I'm gonna use this one because that matches the other things that I was doing for this particular post. So I'm basically just pulling in all of the edit functions in one task. And I can show you what the edit functions are. Removing GPS, the crop, dimensions that are the part that really take a long time to figure out are the distance from the top edge, the distance from the left edge, and then the full pixel resolution of width and height. So if I, let's just double check it and make sure it looks good. You know, it actually doesn't look great. There's that line on the bottom. So let's switch to the other one see how that one looks. Hmm, that one doesn't look good either. Okay, so I have to change one of the crop settings. So it's allowing too much. I just basically want to make the height a little bit less. So let's make it 1100. Looks like it gets in most of what I want. I'm going to go with that. Actually, might be crapping too much. Let's go with 1150. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so those are the dimensions I'm using. So I've got all of the edit tasks. Then I just hit execute. It's done processing. And these are the screenshots. They look perfect. So I'm going to under, so now it's under result and I'm just gonna export them to my camera roll, which is under miscellaneous. Save to photo library, save to camera roll, and now they're saved. You can see that the size is quite a bit smaller. If I had wanted to have the file size be larger, I could have gone into settings and changed this JPEG quality, but that was just about the right size for what I wanted. So then I go back to my camera roll, and these are the screenshots.